Hi guys, seven um, days of the week. I can't make a video every day, so um, I have decided to uh, make two videos today. Um, one has already been uploaded. I was about to change uh, my YouTube channel. And this video will be a product information, review, whatever you want to call it, of the new Cern Vega Mobile Stroker Tweeter that was released a couple of months ago. Um, I think it was hitting the market around mid-May, late May. <coughs> so what can we say about the new tweeters from uh, Cern Vega in the Stroker series? Well, they are <laughs> massive. That's the first word that comes to my mind uh, when I look at them and uh, examine them. They're massive, okay? Um, they kind of look like their cousin, the uh, Pro Series tweeters. So let's open the box and see what we have in here. I have a manual. I'm going to put the box down, so I'm going to take one out and hold it up for you guys so you can see. Let me get closer. Pretty awesome magnet. Big. You have a terminal on each side. Um, the front is, it has a, what you call normal, typical hard plastic uh, front cover, but it's layered with um, a, a rubber protective fi thing that is on top of the hard plastic so it, it feels softer because it has a rubber thing on top of it on the outside black and gold uh, trimmings we'll, we'll call it that um, base color is black with gold um, lettering stripes and the face plug in the middle is gold so um, Pretty heavy. Uh, is it a typical car tweeter? Well, it's made for cars. That's what the uh, in, in initial use was, and the initial way they made it was for cars. But uh, these are just as good to use for DIY projects or pro product. Um, if you want to use them for any in a pro product category or a cabinet, if you want to build yourself some speakers. Mm -hmm. If you want to replace tweeters in some cabinets that you have, they might work good. They are 4 ohm, so that's something you want to think about when you want to hook them up and match them to some crossovers and stuff like that. So just think that, that they're 4 ohm. Um, they're 50 watts RMS, 100 watt peak, so they can take some power. Um, like I said, they're heavy. They come with wires. They're, they're sold as a pair. There's two in the box. Uh, they're well protected in the box. So when you, when, you, when you get the box, they are protected by foam on all sides. So they're well protected. The use of manual is, I want to say, it's good. It has... Uh, All the information that you need. There's eight pages inside with all kinds of information. Uh, it goes with, it's made to go with other Stroker model product, uh, products from Cern Vega, such as the Stroker mid range and, and mid base and the subwoofers. Um, so let's look up the specifications on it and see what it says. Um, it comes with a crossover, it says, a 12 dB crossover. It has some wiring diagrams in here and a lot of stuff. It has the size, the cutout diameter, the mounting diameter, and everything that you need like that. 
the SPL on it is 105 dB with one watt at one meter. It's pretty sensitive. Um, It has um, all the information that you really, really should have. Um, according to this, and this I didn't know, and that is a very, very good thing, and I appreciate this. According to this manual, and this haven't been in the car audio industry for a long, long time, okay? Apparently, according to the manual, if you blow this tweeter, you can get replacement diagrams for it, or diaphragms. And that is awesome. The only problem, <laughs> you have to have some kind of an angle screwdriver to get this cover off, from how I can see it. Oh no, there's three screws, I see it now. Okay, they have made holes. So when you take this rubber thing off, there are holes in the hard plastic where you can get a small screwdriver through and you can loosen the screws on the bottom that is fastened. Right there, there's one, there's another one, and there's the last one. And there's holes that goes through under the rubber. And it says in the manual, replacement tweeter diaphragms for the CVMP CL 1.0T. Replacement tweeter diaphragms. Okay. So it's rebuildable, quick replacement design. And the part number and everything is in here. Very, very good. Thank you, Sir and Vega, for doing that. It has been missing in this car audio business for a many, many years. Both when it comes to tweeters, when it comes to woofers, subwoofers, and everything. Because I tell you, as an old school guy, I, when I started out as, when I was a teenager, 16, 17 years old, with car audio, you can get recon kits, you can get diaphragms for almost everything and anything, regardless of brands, okay? But I was heavily into Cern Vega. So getting recon kits and, and diaphragms was not a problem. Since 2005, 2006 and onwards, up until today, most brands, I, regardless, I mean, I don't care which one it is, has strayed away from offering recon kits and diaphragms and all these kind of things that made this hobby so enjoyable. Because if you broke something, you could repair it, okay? Yes, I know the companies made a financial loss on it because they could only sell you a recon kit instead of selling you a, a new woofer for more money. But the problem was always <coughs> You couldn't go out and buy a new woofer every time you blew one or a new tweeter every time you blew one or whatever. So it was handy to have an option to go out and buy recon kits and repair what you had. Or you bought something used and it was maybe having problems already when you bought it and you need to repair it and have it fixed. Then it was nice to have the option of getting recon and, and having the spare parts to get it repaired. 
over the last 10, 15, 13, well, 10, 13, 15 years, that has not been the option. Um, you had had to go out to a third party and rebuild what you had with other parts and, and make them look different. Some products couldn't even be rebuilt. Some of the new stuff that you buy today, when you buy it and you, and it, you break it, it's a throwaway. It's buying and use it and if, you, if it breaks, you throw it away and you buy something new. It's a waste. But this is how the, the car audio business today is milking the, the market for money. And I have been so against it for so many years. And that's one of the reasons why I have, I have stayed true to the old school system and the old school products. Because you can still get aftermarket spare parts for those. And there's other reasons too. Like... I believe that the old school products are better, um, but I'm not going to go into that right now. That's that's for another video. But this this is promising. So Sir and Vega, if you can offer this on your woofers and subwoofers, I mean, then you have an edge or over your competition. And I want to say this to other brands too start getting back to the old school days where you can offer recon kits you know it doesn't take much if you already have designed and manufactured a woofer you have what it takes to manufacture spare parts when you already are making voice coils and cones and spiders and surrounds you you're already making it so why not just make some a little bit extra to put it outside it doesn't take much it's called customer service okay you're already making it so why not if you make it in-house you should have you don't have a problem if you have have it outsourced it's still not a problem if you make it in China yes I know Chinese factories do not um, approve it or are not happy to do it they will do anything to not do it I know Chinese build houses and they are against building or offering recon kits for car audio especially. They do it on um, pro audio. This is the funny part. Chinese companies can make recon kits for pro audio drivers and they do that but they are opposing it when it comes to car audio because they want to make more products and sell more product new instead of building or making recon kits and spare parts because they don't make the same type of money it's all about the mighty dollar so but as some brand owner and as a company who owns the brand you can put pressure on these Chinese build houses if your product is built in China you can say we want to have our products built this way as we do it now or better but we also want to have our products come with spare parts and recon kits and diaphragms just like this so that's not a problem it can be done it's easy you just have to convince the build house that build for you if you don't build it yourself that you want your line of products to come with spare parts and recon kits Sir and Vega old school did that a lot of other companies did that this is why made in America is costing a little more than made in China it is for a few reasons and th that's why I don't mind paying a little bit more for made in America but this this is it's something in a positive direction so if you want a good tweeter I have tested this one. I tested this, these yesterday. I hooked them up in a system that I have here for 30 minutes and I listened to them and they sound incredible. They take a lot of power, they play loud and they sound sweet. Very good tweeter. And they work very well with 15 inches, 18 inches and they, they just sound so sweet. So if you're looking for powerful tweeters these are it either for use in cars 
home or pro audio these are these are the ones you should go for even the custom the pro ones the, with the red dome in here instead of the gold are good I'm not sure if they come with a replacement diaphragm thing I'm not sure I haven't looked but these do so if you buy these and you blow them you can have them repaired that's a security in itself I don't know what the pricing on the diaphragms are if you have to buy one or two I don't know I can ask Sir and Vega and find out but just as a beginning just to know that if you blow these there is no chance in hell that you throw these away you can have them repaired and looking at it it's easy three screws and all you do is lift it off and you replace the diaphragm and you're good to go very good I want to praise Sir and Mega Mobile for doing that especially for a pair of tweeters that are this awesome and they cost I sell them here in the store for $199.99 I sell them online for $189.99 yes I know and someone is gonna always bring this up there's always one smart ass online or two or three I said well others sell them for $149.99 $159.99 I as a dealer as an official authorized dealer with respect for myself with respect for my store with respect for Sir and Vega mobile I respect what they call MIP math prices that is a price that Sir and Vega have set and it's called MIP because it's minimum advertised pricing that is what Sir and Vega is saying is the minimum allowed pricing that or minimum at advertised pricing that Sir and Vega is allowing us dealers to sell them for in our store or online or anywhere else some people and some companies have decided that they want to dump the prices and sell them for below map I don't do that if, if people want to go there and buy it I don't care it's not my problem if you want to buy it from me and support a store that is respecting the rules that Sir and Vega have set respect the prices that Sir and Vega have set I can guarantee you that the service that you get from me is better than the service that you get from all these other online companies I'm an online company too so you probably will buy these from me either in my store or online will you pay a little bit more yeah probably somewhere between 25 and 40 bucks more but I'm not just a cold ass website where you go in and put a number in and order and pay with your credit card how well I have a website I have a eBay store so either you buy from one of those places or you can buy from me via my Facebook uh, groups but I'm talking to you we are interacting to, with each other either via eBay messages or something like that or via email in my website or in Facebook in the groups messengers or you can go to my YouTube channel like you are now and I'm here standing here in front of you talking about the product I'm getting you in I'm giving you insights I'm giving you advice I'm giving you all the details and I'm taking time to help you as a customer and as a consumer I'm here to tell you things that the other companies doesn't do they're just a cold ass website so I put more more effort into my customer service than most other online sellers do my time is more dedicated towards my customers is that worth a little bit more I would think so I would rather me personally when I buy something I personally would buy from someone that I could connect with on a personal basis than buying from someone I had no contact with I hate buying online I rarely buy online I buy from eBay but because I have the chance of con contacting the seller either before during or after the sale is done and many times I do most of the time I go to a brick-and-mortar store or I, I contact the, the seller in advance before I buy something 
But this, this guys, I tell you, if you want an awesome tweeter, this is the way to go. And just remember, the other online sellers that maybe sell for 10, 20, 25, 30, 40 bucks less than what I do, did they test it and tell you what it sounds like? Did they tell you the benefits of this? Did they tell you that if you blow this one, that you can get the spare parts for it? That you don't have to throw it away? Probably not. They probably didn't want to tell you because they, if, if you blew this, they probably didn't want to tell you because they just wanted you to throw it away and come back and buy one, another pair. If you buy this from me and you blow it, you don't have to come back to me and buy another pair. Because you, you probably come back to me and buy a diaphragm for less money than what a new pair would cost. I would, I would make less money, but I would sell you a spare part and make you happy because you don't have to pay an arm and a leg for a new pair. Even though I think $199 in my store is a fair price, and $189 online is a fair price, it is kind of expensive for a pair of tweeters, I have to say. It, it is expensive. It's not cheap. But compared to what you pay for other tweeters in the $40, $50, $60, $80, $90 range, this is, is way better. Because tweeters that the small neodyme tweeters that you pay $80, $90, $100 bucks for, that brags about being 40, 50 watts, then they're just basically just a 10 watt tweeter. This is RMS 50 watts, guys. Let me put this back in the uh, cabinet here. So, the application for that tweeter is so much greater than these small neodyme tiny little tweeters great application you can use it for so many things you can use it in your car like i said you can use it as a replacement in hi-fi just remember as long as you can use it pro just remember it's four ohm you can get two of these two pairs put two in a speaker wire them in series and there will be eight ohm so you you solve the problem there you will have a lot of tweeters so you probably will have overflow of tweeters because those tweeters are loud and powerful so that was the stroker tweeters um, next time I will be uh, looking at the stroker 6.5 mid-range uh, I will go more in detail on that one and then we will move on to the 8 inch and the 10 inch and before we come to the big daddy the 18 inch so Stay tuned for Stroker Specials.